Hi everybody, it's me, Jenny, here at Craft Creations. So I wanted to come on super quick and show you um, a few cards that I made with two of the dies that I received from Coco Rosa a little while back. So I had showed you the unboxing and I showed you a few other things. So this is one of the dies that I had picked out um, and I love this die. At first I was like, oh, I don't know and I'm not sure. And then when I received it, I was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> because we know me I like easy simple fast and big so these are a lot of pieces but I love it so basically it cuts out all of these little pieces um but it cuts the design of it out like into the paper does that make any sense so here let me let me explain <laughs> so say this is a piece of paper um, you put the die down, however you want it to go, you run it through, and then this is what you get. Okay. So you get all the pieces that cut out, um, and they are all like right here. You get the letters for the word love. You get, um, the bows, the hearts, you name it, you get it. So I cut it out in a bunch of different paper as you see here um, and then I decided I didn't want to do that um, and then what I did was I took a scissor and I tried to like kind of cut out the shape of a heart which I will not do that again because this looks absolutely ridiculous but I will find a way to use it so it doesn't look bad <laughs> so what I did was I found a card base um, I put the die on it like so and then I just, I placed it like I wanted it. And then I ran it through my die cut and that was it. So then I had, you know, the cutout part. So basically, you know, was the piece with all the stuff cut out. So I backed it with the white on the back so you couldn't see through. And then all those colors that I used to cut it out, um, I took all the bits and then I just kind of paper pieced it really. And then, you know, that's how I did this. So I took, you know, like a, a blue heart and, well, purple on that one, but, and put it here and then all that. And then I spelled out the word L-O-V-E, love. Um, and then these two pieces I had in my stash. So I just used that to make the card. And then on the inside, it says for someone who is wonderful in each and every way. Um, and then I just have to stamp the back. So I thought this was such a great, cute card. Um, and there's so many ways you can use this, guys. Like, obviously, the main part of the die, you know, you either cut into a piece of paper or the actual card that you're using. But with all the pieces that you get, I mean, it is endless what you can do. Um, you have the word love. You have all of these amazing cute little bows that you can use um these little round circles um this is actually foam um and i did use it with the two hearts um i did spell out the word love as well but because it's so puffy and i wanted different colors i didn't do the word love with the foam i probably should have but again i only have this one color in that foam so I just did it like that, but I have all of the letters for the love, L-O-V, here's my V's, um, my O and my E's. So like you can do that on a separate card, on the same card, like there's just an endless amount of fun that you can have with this. You have all the confetti that it has, um, it, it, this was just a lot of fun. This definitely was not um, a frustrating card. It, it, you know, you don't have to have a whole ton of patience to do it. Um, you know, maybe just to fill these in, but I have to tell you, it goes by so quick. You don't even realize it. So I absolutely am having a really great time with this die, if I'm being honest. So I can't wait to make more, but this is the, basically the card, the main card that I made with this. Um, so I'm loving that. And then the next die I made a card for is this one and we all fell in love with this card <laughs> it's just fun 
it's beautiful. Like, let's not kid ourselves here. It is really just a beautiful, stunning dye. And I was really having a tough time trying to figure out how to use it because it's also a very different size. Um, it's kind of too big for a standard card, meaning like it, it hangs out over. And if you do it this way, this part hangs over the tail. Like, it's just, it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Um, and then I thought, wait a second. And then I saw what Cocorosa did. I guess some of the people who um, do designs. And then here's my other point real quick. Let me back up. Um, and then for your larger cards, it's kind of like one of those dies that it just kind of gets stuck. It's too short. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then if you did it this way, I mean, it, again, it's, it fits, but then you have all this open space. And if you want the main focal point to be this die, it's just because of the size of it. It's either, it's just too small or too big. Um, and that could be a problem. So this is what I chose to do. And I think this came out absolutely beautiful. So this is the envelope that I'm using with the gold foil. And then I had this card base with the gold around it. And then look at this. So I put sweet hugs and then I took this piece. I popped it up on foam. Guys, check this out. It's a pocket. So look at this. If I wanted to stick goodies in there, I absolutely could. And you can stick quite a few pieces of goodie. And I have to tell you, I'm giving a huge shout out to my girl, Jennifer Real, because she doesn't do videos, but she is, <clears throat> excuse me, on Facebook. And she is the sweetest, sweetest woman on this planet. She sends happy mail to everybody and she does it simply in a card. Like, I, I don't know how she does it, but she does it. And I thought of her and I thought this would be perfect for her, like absolutely perfect. So she could put her goodies in the envelope here, or she can even do it on the inside. So like when you open it up, this is on the inside. Um, and that's how she can send her goodies and it's not going to cost anything extra than a stamp. I, I just thought this was so brilliant. So again, I put the word sweet and then hugs. Um, and then to, to kind of explain to you how I did this. Um, so the piece cuts out and then these are all the pieces and the colors that I did. So I have the gold, the, um, like fuchsia, I guess, mirror cardstock. I have like the bluish gray, um, mirror cardstock. And then I have a beautiful pink glitter cardstock that I use. So here are all the pieces, everything that falls out of this die are in these baggies, which I thought. I don't throw them away because again, you can still paper piece these if you wanted to. Um, there's just so many things you could do. You could put pearls where all like the holes are for like the quilted look. Um, but what I decided to do was I just kind of traced the back of it. Now these are a little too small, but they would fit right. Well, kind of offset it in the middle. So where mine goes from side to side here, this one would go side to side for the, the smaller, like the, the inside part, you know, and then you could put it all the way down to the bottom. So it would go like that. And then you can use it for your pocket or you can just take it and use it. And you know, that could be your focal piece and put like a cute little saying or whatever. Um, or you can just leave it open and do it that way however you want to do it. But I just thought these would be so cute. And I am actually putting a little package together for my girl, Jennifer. So I'm going to send her a bunch of these. Um, you know, but again, all I did was use the foam and this is the foam that I used. Um, and I got this at scrapbook.com. Um, cause they just have the best deals for this stuff, but they're super, they're thin. It works. Um, and I love it. I, I just would be lost without this, um, foam. <laughs> I need to get more though. Anyway, so this is the, the card that I made. And I, again, I just love the fact that actually you could put two little baggies full of whatever you want in here, or you can do like the, the sticks with the flags. Um, and then my girl, Beffy sent me a few of these in happy mail. Like you could put that in there if you want it all dolled up. Um, you know, there's just a million things you can do. So again, I just, 
you know, popped it up on foam on the three sides. So this side, this side, and down on the bottom so that this is all left open so you could put something in it. And I absolutely love the way this came out. I just think it's beautiful. And again, you can use whatever colors you want. I just thought the hugs and the glitter really kind of made it stick out. I did try to do it in the gold, but it just got so lost because there's so much gold in the card already. Um, and I didn't want to do a color because then it kind of blended it. I don't know. I just thought that the glitter worked the best. And again, with the glitter, I did the, um, the foam. So I just think it worked out perfect. I did the foam here and here, um, just to give it a little dimension and just kind of make it pop. Um, and then here, I just wanted to show you how cute. So this is, um, a piece of paper I have and oops, a piece didn't come out. Um, but look at how pretty that is. It's like gray and blue. So behind this one, look at how gorgeous that looks, right? If you wanted to do it as a pocket, you could still do it as a pocket. The only problem is, is I don't know how you hide um, the foam or even just tape because if it's double-sided, obviously it's going to peek through. So um, I really love having that piece of paper here and then using it as a pocket. Or again, you don't have to use it as a pocket at all. You can just do it flat down on the card and, you know, do your messages around it or just leave it plain like that, I think is really, really pretty. You could do a couple. So if you wanted to, um, you know, do like a gold one here, uh, the pink behind the blue, and just kind of offset it like that. You can do it that way or do like a cascading one. So maybe do the gold in the middle ah, without getting all the pieces a mess. <laughs> so you could do it this way and then that can be the art on your card. And then you can do like a cute little word. Do I have a word? I had a word. I don't know where the word went, but uh, let's see. What is this over here? I have, oh, a hello. So maybe like you could like obviously bigger, but where it would stand out, you know what I'm saying? Like, just use your imagination. This die is just so beautiful and I love it. I, I'm a little, the, the size throws me off a bit. I'm going to be honest, but look at what I came up with. And I think it's so beautiful. Or you can just do, forget the card. You can just do a piece of paper and just make pockets. And then these can just be pockets that you give away with goodies in them. I mean, you could do it that way too, or do the paper behind it. You can make it into a box. You could do it that way. <laughs> you know me, I turn everything into a box. Um, but I really wanted to use it on the card. So these are the two cards I made. Let me know what you guys think. I love them. I've had so much fun. I'm so glad that I decided to get those dies. Um, you know, at first I wasn't sure. And then when I opened, especially the, the love die, when I opened this one, I was like, oh no, how am I going to use that? But look at how cute that is. And then, or if you want to do it all in one color, I think it would be just as cute or beautiful. So let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your opinions. You guys know that. Again, this one, you can paper piece it. You can do all different colors and then do like um, pearls or bling on the like you know the little circle parts it looks like a quilt type of thing I mean that the possibilities are endless so I hope you guys are all doing great let me know what you think I love you all and I hope to see you in my next video love you guys bye